Well, the Georgia dominance continues. The Georgia Bulldogs have been absolutely crushing the 2024 recruiting scene, already having the number one recruiting class, and they're potentially gonna finish off with a top three recruiting class of all time. And now they're already starting to bring in players in the class of 2024. This is Tay Harris. Sit him down. Okay, wait a second. Now my man's popping off helmets out here. Pink, let's go. My guy Tay Harris coming out of Cedartown High School, standing at six foot 180 pounds. This sophomore DB, A. If he's making plays like that already, I'm excited to see what he's looking like out there. Yo. I don't know if I don't know if I don't know if, he, if he's really got that hit if he's really hitting like that or if you know the ball just popping out a little different. But whenever he hits people, it looks like he's he's putting a little bit of oomph on it. Oh no, no, he's really like that. He's really like that. He's really dropping the hammer for all these people. Let's go, Tay. Oh, way to extend out for that. You'll love to see it. All my UGA fans, leave this video a like for your new dominant hard-hitting corner. I love the way this kid plays. And guys, remember, these are his sophomore year highlights. He's 2025, so he's going to, he's going into his junior year. This kid is he just has all the potential in the world. I mean, first off, six foot 180 pounds as a sophomore. He he's already college size as a corner as a sophomore going into his junior year. So you love to see the physicality. Normally you're not seeing sophomore, like normally if you see a DB, okay, like, you know, they're, they're, they're fast, you know, maybe they got a little bit of, maybe they got some hops, but you're not seeing the physicality at such a young age. You love to see a young player really showing off that physicality because it just shows that they have a very good understanding of how to play their position. I. I, I love this too. Watch how you know a lot, a lot of especially young corners. You know, and you could even say so you could even give a little bit of a case of him doing it in this play. But you know, a lot of a lot of young guys they either try and go inside and they try and cheat and just get away from the contact, or which I think he could work on is they just kind of run straight at the wide receiver on little screens like this. I think he can use his arms to get a little bit more extension, but to be able to shed the block and can still maintain contain outside contain is huge. Like I was, that was something that would get my defensive coach so mad is like anytime that a corner would come screaming down, but they would take an inside route and the wide receiver would just easily be able to break contain and head to the outside. Like, you need to be able to always keep contained. So I love seeing Tay Harris, even as a young player, consistently pushing the play back inside. Yeah, his ability to be able to make these open field tackles is huge. So it just looks like, from what I'm seeing, I know that we're a little bit early for the class of 2025, but it looks like we're already seeing a pure top tier lockdown hard hitting quarter. If Tay Harris is ranked anywhere outside of the top five corners in the class, something is wrong. You do not get kids who are this technically sound and then also love to hit. That, that just doesn't come around that often. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, he's got he's got the lockdown. He can run with the he can run with wide receivers. He can lay that hit. Tay Harris is him. He is the complete corner. He's everything that you're looking for, and he's got size too. Quarterback, what are you doing? Why why, why are you throwing it at my guy? Like, the, come on, do you want that ball to get picked? Stays patient, keeps his eyes. Yup. Again, look at, look at, okay. Hold on a second. Look at him just blow up this wide receiver right here and maintain outside leverage. I love that. That's just a phenomenal play right there. That's just wanting it more. Again, look at him maintaining outside leverage. Well, Georgia's just dominating college football for the near future now because, hey, if they're already bringing in guys like Tay Harris in the class of 2025, it's already a wrap. Tay Harris has to be one of the just best corner prospects that I've seen in a while. You know, normally you'll see some of the top corner prospects that have really good lockdown skills, but you won't see the physicality until maybe the end of their senior year. So to be able to see Tay Harris demonstrating that he can 
Uh, he already has a very high understanding of how to play the corner position as far as running with wide receivers, you know, using his hips to very quickly and easily get in and out of his back pedal. But then to also add the physicality of not being able to make an open field tackle, consistently leveraging the play back inside towards the middle of the field. Like, Tay Harris is everything that you're looking for in a Georgia Bulldog recruit. And I'm excited to see what he looks like whenever he inevitably gets down to Athens. I want to hear from all my UGA fans. Comment down below what are you guys' thoughts on Tay Harris. And be sure to hit that subscribe button because, hey, whenever I, th I'm, I, I, I honestly believe Georgia's going to win the national championship back to back to back. I, I just, I, I don't see who is going to get in their way. The only team that's getting in Georgia's way is themselves. So hit that subscribe button because we're going to be covering Georgia's entire 2023-2024 college football journey and I would love to for you guys to be a part of that. I hope that you have a super blessed rest of your day and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.